Hey everybody, welcome to the Kitchen New. Uh, tonight's part two of a double header recipe night. So we're using our same pan. We, uh, we made some teriyaki chicken earlier and now I'm gonna make some fried rice because we're gonna use this and top the teriyaki chicken on top of this fried rice and it's gonna be awesome. So um, I didn't even wash this pan so we're just gonna kind of deglaze this. What I'm starting with here, I've got, uh, I've got a recipe, it's up in the thing. You can see it. We're going to make this in two batches because I don't have a big pan and I don't have a big wok. This is a lot of rice and I want to make this right. So we're going to do this in two stages. I'm going to start half the recipe and then just do it twice. So I've got half my butter. That's a teaspoon and a, or a tablespoon and a half. Um, I've got about three and a half, four-ish cups of rice here. We're going to uh, go ahead and start. I'm going to put about half this rice in and start cooking it. I've never made fried rice before, so this is a first for me. So we'll see how it goes. That's about half. So once the rice goes in, I guess it's kind of just start breaking it up. And we, uh, we're we gonna put half of our, this is reduced sodium soy sauce. I'm not sure why it's reduced sodium. Maybe it's something to do with the other ingredients being salty. No, that's not it at all. I have no idea. We're just gonna go with it. Seems like a lot. Uh, we're on medium high. I'm gonna turn up just a touch. Our pan cooled down in between sessions here, so something tells me this isn't supposed to turn into mush. It's supposed to get nice and uh, firm, I guess you could say. And I did make this rice ahead of time. It's pre-cooked and it's been sitting out a little while, so it might have got a little soggy, I guess. I didn't make it firm rice when I did cook it initially. I made it a little bit more well done because I I don't like an al dente rice. I don't want to I don't want to feel like I'm eating seeds. <laughs> right? If I want something crunchy in my dish, I'll add it on purpose. I'll tell you what, this isn't that's kind of nice for breaking it up, but it's not good for stirring. Be better, I think, because I think I'm gonna fold, fold like this. Maybe like a hash brown. Maybe. Like I said, it's my first time doing this. So this cooks about a minute or so. I'm gonna let it go a minute. I want that. Uh, I want that rice to get the nice uh, cooked flavor to it, kind of crispy at the bit. It's kind of mushy. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I'm stirring it too much. Maybe I'm overworking it. So uh, we have frozen peas and carrots. We're going to put that in. And that cooks for about three minutes. And again, we're just going with about half the recipe. Half the recipe. So maybe that'll help break it up. Oh, you know, oh man. You know what? I missed a step entirely. I was supposed to scramble egg in here. And then add the rice. I guess I could add the egg now, couldn't I? You know what? You're you supposed to pre-cook it, aren't you? You make a well in the middle and you add the egg. Could you? Yeah. Do you need an egg? No, I, I got one over here. All right, so we're, we're going completely, yeah, completely rogue this time. We're going against the recipe. I'm going to try this. I'm going to just scramble the egg right here a little bit. There you go. Got to make the sound effect when you do it too, right? <laughs> Oh, it's gonna stick, isn't it? That's cool. Yeah. The uh, the rice will pick it up. When we do the next batch, the next batch, the second batch, we'll do it correctly. How's that sound? Oh, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, there we go. It's cleaning off the bottom, okay? Now, some optional ingredients for this as we finish this. Um, we're assuming that our frozen peas and carrots have thawed, and uh, I don't think they're really supposed to be cooked or caramelized or anything crazy like that. I think they're just supposed to be heated through. This rice is awfully mushy. I wish I hadn't cooked this so much when I cooked the rice initially, but, you know, that's why we do this, live and learn, right? So next time I do, I won't cook the rice so long. I'll make it a little on Uh We're gonna throw in, um, a little olive, uh, sesame oil. 
And the, the recipe calls for three quarters of a teaspoon. Oh, come on. Well, we're making half, so that's about right. Yeah. This stuff is strong. It's strong. What? I'm going to say, I don't think the problem is that the fried rice was overcooked. Green onions. I think that when people make fried rice, generally it's just leftover rice. And so it's cold in the fridge. Cold in the fridge, and okay. And I think that when it's cold in the fridge, it separates on its own. Okay. It doesn't stay in a sticky lump. You might be right about that, yeah. Because my dad used to make fried rice all the time, and it always looked like that. Okay. Except he And is it put, good? Yeah, I love it. Well, that's it, important. He, that's he didn't important. put... Uh, Carrots and peas in it, though. That's insanity. <laughs> you do that. Insanity? Yes. Yeah, almost as bad as someone putting well, eggs in lasagna. Here's the thing about this insanity that you speak of. Yeah. Um, this is a recipe that's a facsimile of a, uh, let's just say, an Asian food chain that you frequent now that they've opened up down the road from us. I'm so sorry, but... Uh, so, that's the insanity that you've been eating all week. I've I mean, got a landing bowl right. here. We're going to do this one more time, one more time. We're going to do it the right way this time. I don't eat the rice. It does mm -hmm. look like, it looks like ground pork. It, yeah, it does. You know what it looks like to me? All right. Fried rice. That's how I grew up eating it. Butter. Because you're weak. What are you doing? Frying an egg. Oh. Hmm. It eats, oh, what? I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. Scram the egg. Kabam. <laughs> that's what eggs, that's what noise eggs make when you scramble. Kabam. Kabam. <laughs> what? Mom's looking at memes over there. Alright, that looks scrambled to me. We don't want to burn the egg. And with the rice, let's get it going. Stir it up. Stir it up. Now, this should be the easy part. We don't really need to... Oh, okay, cool. Check this out. I'm going to break this up a little bit better. So that it's not so mushy when I add the soy sauce, right? Maybe crispy this up before I add the sauce, right? Maybe that's the key. And this is easier for breaking. It's kind of nice, kind of insane. Right? It's just that I have two things instead of one. I think I'm getting arthritis. <laughs> That's a little better. Now we're going to add the soy sauce. Let's see what difference that makes. Maybe I put too much moisture in starting out. So if I have a good batch and a bad batch, when I mix these two together, it's going to be like an okay batch, right? Right? Is that logical? There we go. Soy sauce. Yeah. Look at that. I tend to... Hold the spatula too close to the thing, and I think that's why my hand starts hurting because I choked up on the spatula too far. Right. It's like when your hand starts let's cramping do, up when you're holding a pencil. Let's do the rest of our peas and carrots. Now, I was I was astonished because we don't really buy frozen vegetables very often. We don't eat frozen vegetables very often. But um, I was astonished that I actually found a bag of frozen peas and carrots just like this. I was like, do they, do they make that? I thought I was going to have to buy a, a bag of frozen peas and a bag of frozen carrots. And then I was also thinking, well, why don't I just buy normal carrots and just dice them, you know? Yeah, why would you do that? Well, because then you'd have to cook them, right? No. These are kind of pre-cooked or they're like parboiled or something? No. I think it'd be too, uh, too tough to eat. This actually looks really good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That one looks so much better. It does look a little better, doesn't it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna taste this. What is this? It looks the same. Like a pirate. Mm -hmm. It's mushy. It's you mushy, but it tastes good. You shocked me right in the chest. How's that? I'm not gonna tell you yet. 
Yeah. What are we watching tonight? We're gonna watch Ghost Adventures or we're gonna watch Storm Chasers? Storm, Storm Chasers! What? Ghost Adventures. Outvoted though. What? I'm not against Storm Chasers, but. Yeah, we watched them all. Yeah. Alright. Storm Chasers is cooler, viewers. So, um, for you viewers at home that are getting bored with our antics, sesame oil, very nutty, very strong. You don't need a lot of it. That's why I just kind of put a little drizzle in there. And we're going to garnish with our green onions. Come get a photo of this, Jim. Just like this. Clean up the area a little bit. I don't know what that is, so I'm not gonna throw it in the pan. Hang on, hang on. Let me look, <laughs> let me make it look more random. Folks, you're witnessing food photography. Rando rice. There we go. Wait. Yeah, now I'm looking at it through the camera, and you gotta look at it through the camera because it looks different than in real life. And this is the other one. Yeah, don't do that. Well, it looks like. It looks like ground beef. It looks like raw meatloaf. It, it there, there. I, that's what I was saying earlier. <laughs> Back off of it a little bit and then take a picture. You're getting out of the steam. There you go, because I can always crop it. Take an overhead. There. Beautiful. It, it does not look any better taking an overhead, honestly. It looks well, mushy and gross. There we go. Okay, off. Into the bin. This is a lot of fried rice. Hurry up, I'm starving. Right. <laughs> so, fried rice, kitchen new, try it at home. This is my first time. I think I did pretty good for my first attempt here. And uh, we're going to put our teriyaki chicken on top of this. So hopefully that tastes pretty good. Um, Bye! TheKitchenNoob.com. Come and check us out. See you later. Bye. <laughs>